Hello YouTube, today will be fun a day, not yet, that will be later, first this one, uh, A40 problem with the fan belt noise, but this is a little funny problem because the noise is very high sound squeaking and grease at the belt was not fixed, so um, Probably problem is in the... Um, I have to... I forgot the key. Problem is in the um, alternator pulley, I think. And we will check this under plate. So, we open the beast. We start it. It looks like everything okay at the moment, but... After a few seconds, when we do the... Ex oh, oh, it's coming now. Actually like the noise. I just try present this again. Hold on. Actually, the single ticking. So the car has the new belt, but that's not. It was not in help. And I hope when we replace the alternator pulley, the sound will be gone because the alternator pulley is with the clutch. And very often, the clutch and is make just damage. So that's the noise. It's like single ticking. I hope I present the noise how much is possible so all right the alternator is actually there so we have to remove it the few stuff for this and hopefully we can do this exactly here and the, the alternator pulley looks like that uh, I just could show you what's in the alternator pulley That's the special cap for here, like that, that's the pulley. Inside we have the clutch, so the alternator is moving only one way, uh, impossible moving by hand. Uh, but very often making the ticking noise like that, because the bearing inside uh, is very sensitive, so we see. Uh, but if you want to replace this, you need as well the special set of the tools like that depend what is inside you have to put inside catch the shaft and open by this that's only working for the one way it's impossible okay grooming this but from this way is impossible so that's the one way clutch and sometimes make the noise clutch like that okay So we see how we did the job. That's the parts number for the pulley for Hyundai and Kia.
Okay, so if you want to remove the alternator, we have to remove it. I lift the car first, remove it the side plastic. There's only two bolts. One, two. Maybe you have the, some clip on the end. Alternator is here, pulley is there. So, yeah, first we have to remove the belt. Out in. Good idea will be lock the tensioner. I have to put something here. Whatever you have. Okay, like that. And tensioner is still open. Don't forget how was the belt. Okay. I said before the belt was replaced. Okay. The next step. I can check the old pulley. Uh huh. That's the little noise. Okay, so one bolt here, another on the top, and we try find the place how we replaced it. Okay guys, so one important thing, if you remove the alternator, you have to remember, actually in this, in this connection there, uh, this one, we have still 12, constant 12 volt from the battery. So option is like, like you have, if you don't have missing any information from the car, from the clock, from the radio, careful how you open this and isolate this after, or just disconnect the the battery clamp negative point. That's be the best. Up to you. Uh, I know how to do this, so I'm just I just disconnect the one bolt here and isolate from the body and that'd be all right for me but but if you not feel safety with this disconnect the battery clamp that simply okay you can see here how is locked the tensioner that is the safety point never be back good idea That's the noise from the from the clutch. It should be quiet. So I hope that the squeaking will be gone after replace the the pulley. Okay, let's go for the next step. Okay, so really careful. Don't touch the tools from another one. If you want, if you not feel good with this, like I said before, disconnect just the battery. The ratchet, same, can be touching nothing around. That is a little bit risk job. But if you know what to do, everything should be okay. That was the 12 socket. And now important, after disconnect this, you have to isolate. Actually not this place, just the cable. Just this cable, because still there we have the 12 volts. Okay, so careful what you do now. 
very simply isolate is with the use the tape but we can use the any gloves as well so we just put inside this one second I'll show you yeah we'll do something like that 100 percent the metal will be that no, no touching another one but i tell you if you not feel good with this disconnect the battery that will be easier for better and safety access to release this piece i disconnect the socket still keep the ignition off and next for me next for me i will try remove it actually this element from the alternator so I use the players like that just put actually here move it a few times and the Lumos pop out so now I can carefully okay it still is the another one there so this socket will be great uh, remove it as well so I have to put my hand actually like that. So let me try to disconnect now the sockets for two hands only. Okay, let's pop out. So if it's pop out, I can just gently move it out this. Like you see. Keep away this from the any any body. So that's fine. Okay, so for the next step, I have to open this nut. Uh, play place looks like difficult, but I think will be okay. Looks like 14. We see. Okay, ready, 14, we try moving the bolt, we see what's happened. Not bad. Okay. Not actually, we don't have to remove the, all the bolt because we have in the in the bracket we have the the gap here, so that's really not necessary. But I like to do this for 100% free alternator. Okay, the lamp is there, so no space for tools. Okay, not sure the bolt will be possible to all remove it because we have the air conditioning pipes, so maybe not. So that's why is the brackets open? Yeah. The bolt is out. Yeah, I don't think we have the bolt here, so that's. Impossible to do, okay. I leave it like that, remove it this later. Now, time the bottom bolt. Okay, after open, use the same 14. That's me. That's 
shorten. Outer ladder should be moving, yeah. It's moving very well. So now we have to find a place how uh, we move it from the top. Okay, so that will be a little fight. We'll try. Try make some space for this so disconnect a few bits. Yeah, that's very handy. Very helpful like this. Yeah, that's really difficult. So actually, okay, alternator is here, but that's is not too easy to move with this because there's no space. But I will be not cry for this because I want only to remove it. This one, you hear the noise. Here is the ticking my so not too bad. We try to do the operation actually here. Moving out. Now we have to sort at the tools. Which one is in? No. Okay, that's this one. Yeah, this is in. This is out. So our other option. You just put this here and kicking by the gun should be open. But I first try to do this manual. If the manual will be not working, because maybe the maybe needs special holder for this. So I go for the gun. Okay, we try. First time do this on the car like that, so Forgive me if will be something happen wrong. <laughs> and we have to catch the first I have to check which which is the thread for the right or for the left. Okay, after I'm sure after check I'm sure that this is the normal thread. It's not you know tightened for the right, open for the left. So I try I try open at this. We see. Okay, I catch this. That should be go down. We see what's happened. Okay, <laughs> somebody tell me good luck with this. That's right, really good luck. But I not give up. <sighs> okay, time for the. Time for the gun. Okay. Okay, we try. That's right. Some of the say true. And now manual, I hope. Yeah, was moving. I blocked the yeah that's the guy okay alternator ruined very well we 
figure out any problems is dirty right so time for the new one that's the old one that's the that's the new one we try catch the in and moving how is possible when you feel is is kicking you can try do this for the manual Okay, it's really tight, out, but if you want to be sure, yeah, we can use the, the gun and kicking just for just one side. Now, 100% will be okay. Yeah, okay. Time to put back the alternator. Close and put back. All right. Okay, so now is the time to put back the alternator. I have to try to do the self. But the best idea will be if somebody help you, because one has to be pushing on, on the top. The other one should be a little bit catching this place here. So, bottom bolt, and looks like we almost done. So, looks like the high and high is not bad to do. Is it just thinking correctly? First the bottom now. That's all right. Time to the wire connection. Just remember about the power supply still is on. So be careful with this. Okay, now everything is safety.
in. Click, click here, and tight the dangerous bolts. Just double careful, don't touch nothing around. Nice cover at this. Plug in back the all what we disconnect. Double check all connection. Yeah, it's fine. It's like was. Nothing free. Okay, time for fit the belt. Actually this one must have some small modification because we don't have correct uh, air condition pump. The air condition, air condition pump is a little bit wrong uh, position so that's we have to do the uh, tiny belt and making reposition the belt just for keeping the line. It's nothing big. Nothing big. But yours one will be normal for PK, so don't be worried about this. Don't watch what I have actually, because I have something similar, not like should be, but similar and working fine. Okay, time to release the uh, tensioner. to start the engine and check the funny noise is gone or we will be looking for more problems in the bearing like here that could be the next one hopefully not okay we see So at the moment it's quiet, we see after run a few minutes, we'll be warm up and we see what's happened. Hopefully we never come back.
Okay guys, looks like job done, uh, diagnostic was correct and hopefully the sun will be never back, we see after test drive. But if it's not nice now, so looks like the pulley, the clutch inside start was a damage. There is a little bit clicking. Hopefully. Okay guys, so put back the cover, put back the wheel, close the bonnet and happy weekend. Bye bye. <laughs>